making your own homemade mask, layers are recommended. Things that you can find around your house could be something like propylene, which is found in reusable grocery bags. Next, interfacing, and we recommend either a sheer or lightweight layer. You could use a t-shirt, cotton knit our best, and a tightly woven cotton fabric, something like pillowcases or sheets. Now what each of these layers do is, on the outside, you want the tightly woven cotton fabric, and that's a barrier for anything externally coming at you. The next layer would be the cotton t-shirt, which is absorbent. Now the third layer, the one that goes against the face, could be the interfacing, which acts as a filter, or you could use the polypropylene, which also acts as a very effective filter. So now I'd like to show you some of the masks that we made. This first mask is a three-layer CDC style mask. So it's got the tightly woven cotton on the outside, cotton knit t-shirt on the inside, and the polypropylene on the side that will go to the face. We couldn't find elastic, so we modified the pattern and are using a shoestring to hold it on. Another kind of mask is the handkerchief mask, where you can fold it into fourths, fold it in, put some ties on, and use those to secure around your ears. That gives you multiple layers as well. Finally, we made the t-shirt mask, which you basically just take a t-shirt and cut it in a specific way to create its own mask. Now currently this is only one layer, but you can take some of those scraps of your t-shirt and add additional layers before you put it on. For further information, please go to the CDC website or go to the OSU Extension Coronavirus Resource page.